My friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in today's video we'll take a look at how to create a rim light effect on your products inside of Blender. So you can see here we've got an effect here and we'll be just focusing on the rim light in this case. So if I have a look here, I've got two items that will make up this rim light. So I've got a flag, this is just in the background and this flag also has a texture on it. Let's hide that. And so you can see here that now behind that flag, I have a large rim light, which is just a plane, which has just been scaled up to be behind the flag. And this is what creates our rim light. So you can see here, if I didn't want the flag, I could have a white background with some nice soft edges on my product here. I hide that rim light, you can see now it just got the gray background left, which is part of the world here. And I've just got that set to 0.2, just to fill in some of the areas. If I set this to zero, what will happen is uh, some areas in here will disappear and they'll go 100% black. And just in this case, I don't want that. So I'll set it to something like 1.1 point two just to fill in some of these areas a little bit inside the bottle so you've cracked open blender and sat down to watch your 50th youtube tutorial by now you're slowly getting the hang of the software but you still feel like it takes you forever to create anything one you can't remember all the shortcuts they used in their video and two you don't know the shortcut at all so instead you go through the menus looking for the tool we understand the frustration, so we created a keyboard hotkey cheat sheet to help you find those pesky shortcuts for that tool you've stopped using. Find all the shortcuts within one document. Use the chapters to navigate quickly. Highlight the hotkeys best for your workflow so you can find them easily. It's time for less searching through menus and more mashing keys on your keyboard. Download our Blender hotkey cheat sheet for free at interactive.studio slash hotkey or by clicking the link in the description. However, let's move on to creating this rim light and the flag. I'll just turn it off in the rendered view here. So in our lighting here, I'm going to add two objects. I'm going to go Shift A, we'll add a plane and both our objects will be a plane. So then I'll rotate this one on the Y by uh, 90. We'll G and X to move this a little bit back in our field. And I'll just start scaling this into place and then I can go into edit mode and just start stretching this a little bit. And we'll just lift it up. I'm just filling the background and I just want the it just to go outside the edge of our camera here. So then once that's good and ready to go, I can create a new material. Let's just rename this one. I'll rename it as flag and I'll just put uh, 0 0.001 after it. And we'll create a new material and I'll call this um, flag. There's a few things that I want to do here. So one is I've got an image for this. So in my images, I've got this grunge image here. And so we can just drag and drop that in. I'll plug this straight into the base color. And I can also come here and go control or command T. And that is our node wrangler. So if I open up your blender preferences, add-ons, node if i can type it right node wrangler and i'd recommend keeping this one on all the time so now with that we can just shift this across and we want to add in here so i can go shift a s and we'll go color ramp drop that in and i just want to start editing some of these colors so i'll bring it into the blues and we'll bring it down a bit and we'll bring this one into the blue and just bring it up a little bit now i'm going to do a few things to this so i'm going to drop the specular to zero 
because I don't want it to be affected by any of the lights. And I'll push the roughness up to the max. And now I'm going to just keep editing these colors. So I want this a lot darker. So we'll push it down further. We'll play around with some of these colors. Push it into. This one. Just keep playing around with colors till you get something that you like. And I can pull this black over just to fade that out a bit. I just might want this a little bit blue. And we'll just keep tweaking this one a little bit by a little bit. Something like that. I'm fairly happy with that. I think that's all right. Now the second one we want to do is add another plane. So we'll go shift a plane and this is in our lights again. We'll call this one uh, the rim, rim light and I'll just put the number after it one. And we'll start moving this into place. So I'm going to keep this one a square. So we'll just shift it back. I'll rotate it uh, vertical. And I'll just bring it in a little bit and we'll just scale this nice and big. So it's going to sit behind everything, but it'll be nice and big. And so you can already see that by pulling this into place, we've already got some rim light sitting on this. And so with the angle of everything, we've got our camera here, which in this case, I might just move our camera up a little bit. And instead of rotating, rotating up, I go side view here. Instead of rotating, pointing up, I'm going to rotate it down. So then I'll just move this up. Maybe not quite so much. We'll just point it on straight, something like that. Put it into frame. Now with this background, we're going to do a few things. So I'll create a new material in my shaders. We'll call this one rim light. I'll put the number after just so I know. Now we want to bring in this texture here. So I have got it. And I'm using just this rounded sort of shape uh, just to add a soft rim light. So what I do is if I hide this and show the other rim light, you can see it's got this gradient off the edge. And so we can do that by adding one of these into our light. And that's one of the reasons why instead of adding an area light, I'm adding just a big plane here. So let's hide that other rim light. And what we'll do is we'll put in our light texture, drop that in, and we'll plug it straight into here. And just to make sure, what I can do is just go in here, in my solid view, shade, viewport shading options, and we just turn on the texture, and we can see the texture there. So you can see straight away it's already worked. And we can either change this principled BSDF, the shader, or we can just bump up the emission here. However, what we need to do is we really need, we could just plug this into the emission color and then go four on the strength. But what I'm going to do is go X, Shift A, and we'll add an emission shader. So we'll plug that in there, into the color. We'll bump the strength up to four. And we can play around with this. So I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. I'm going to shift it back in space a little bit. And there you go. So that's a quick and easy way to add a nice rim light to your bottle. 
and we can adjust this by adjusting the height so if I pull this down you see it starts to fade away from there and we can adjust this light as we would please you can also change this bit this is A is acting as a flag so if you scale this you can flag off different areas so if we scale this up we can remove some of the rim light from the top here and just keep it nice and thin around this area here I've got a few other images here I've got a gradient or three gradient lights here and we won't go into detail on these ones however what these are doing is one is a key which is just our brightest light so this is a key light on the side here healing this area the other one's sort of a fill light and these both got gradients so they fade off in this area here and then I've also got this one up the top here which is just sort of adding this little bit of highlight into this area here on top of the bottle here all right that's it for this video if you have any questions drop them down below i'm happy, more than happy to answer them and if you have any tutorial ideas also drop them down below i'm always looking out for more tutorial ideas and things to do i know i have got a few on the wait list and they're taking a little bit of time to produce and make right for you guys all right i hope to see you in the next video